Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to another plan with me. This week um, I have a really cute kit picked out and it's my, you know, first transition into fall kind of kit. And this is from Glam Planner and I believe it's called Southern Comfort. I'm not 100% sure so I definitely need to look that up in my past orders to find out the name of this but for some reason Southern Comfort is just kind of jumping out at me. So this was a Glam Planner Essentials Kit. So you can see here we have our seven full boxes and then we have some heart checklists down here and then this strip at the side is a strip of washi. Um, I believe this was one of the very first kits I ever ordered from Glam Planner and at the time I thought the essentials kit was going to be enough. Now I prefer more of a full kit but for now this is what we're going to use because this is what we have. Um, the kit also comes with some headers, some littles. This is my biggest concern is that we only have half boxes. There's no like quarter boxes. And with all the littles being the same color, I'm just a little nervous about it, but we'll have to make it work. There's also some more uh, headers down here. And again, all three of these pages, this is an extra washi strip. On the next page here, you do have a weekend banner, a little bit of deco here, appointment labels. This is the bottom washi. There's also some cut washi down here, another little tiny weekend banner, your weekly sidebar, a buy these, a habit tracker, some three heart checklist flags, and then we have a movie marquee up here. <clears throat> so that is the kit but it also did come with a couple extras. So there is this really cute double box, which I will be using this week. And then there's also, I'm pretty sure this is the reason that I even bought this kit in the first place, but these are the tall fashion girls. And literally I have this outfit, like it is so funny. I have a purple like lavender, um, suede jacket that looks exactly like this and like I have Celine sunglasses that are like identical to these I mean got the ripped jeans and the white tee so it is just like perfect I wish I looked like this girl but you know at least I've got the outfit so this is the kit that I'm going to be using for this week if you would like to see how it turns out then just stay tuned all right so I am going to be using this double box um, girl down here in the corner um, so I'm just gonna put that down before I start my bottom washi I really apologize guys if you can hear my dog in the background she has her bone and she's chewing it um, she'll probably give up in a second and get tired of it so I really apologize if you do hear that in the background I am never good at putting these down I'm so nervous I'm not gonna get it straight there's something about having like a huge sticker like this that just makes me so nervous. All right, it went a little bit crooked, but it's not, it's not too bad. So we'll use that there. And then for my bow washi this week, I have this one from Simply Gilded and it's this like light beigey color. I can't remember what it was called, but it has the beautiful gold bows. So I'm going to be pulling that in. All right, sorry, I had to take Daisy's bone away. That was even driving me nuts. Normally her chewing her bone like doesn't really bother me. It kind of becomes like white noise, but for some reason that was even driving me crazy. So I'm sorry if you guys could hear that in the background. Um, if I was better at editing, I'd figure out a way to get that out of there, but I'm not, so I, I apologize. So this washi, it like somewhat goes with this kit. I think it's in the same kind of family, but it's not an exact match, but I figured it was close enough and I didn't have any glitter headers this week, so I'm gonna have to be pulling in some washi for that as well anyway. So I figured I would pull in some of my five millimeter um, Simply Gilded strips and I have some that match this washi perfectly. So I was like, hopefully that will help to kind of tie it all together. Hmm, 
I should have thought this through a little bit. How am I gonna cut this if it's like off the page? Hopefully. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be tough to cut, isn't it? Did I even go through it? This is how you can tell I'm such a noob because I never know in situations like this, like what to do. There's that extra piece. And now we just have to cut this way across. Okay, this is a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. There we go. Oh, I took up some of the page. Whoopsie daisy. All right. Well, that side I believe is just difficult because of the, the double box. Hopefully we'll have better luck on the other side. It won't be as complicated. So I've already waited it out so we can just get started. I do really love the color of this washi. I originally had ordered, I think it was part of a pre-sale. I think it was like her summer pre-sale last year. If I'm, I don't know, it's so hard to remember all of the, the Simply Gilded releases, but I'm pretty sure it was part of the pre-sale last summer, and I'm pretty sure I bought multiple of these, and I actually sold a couple within a buy-sell trade group, but I do really love it, and I'm glad that I'm finally getting to use it. It's a little bit more warm-toned than this kit. I think this kit is a little bit more on the cool side, but that's all right. Hopefully when everything is down, it'll look good all together. I just actually ordered some more Simply Gilded, and I haven't placed many Simply Gilded orders in the past, I don't know, a couple months. Like, I've been pretty good other than you know, my monthly subscription box. I haven't really ordered too much extra. But today, um, she did a new release yesterday, which was like her Halloween collection. And then she also had a mixed metals um, line of like gold and rose gold, and I think gold and silver. Was it gold and silver? Yeah. So I picked those up as well. So I'm excited to get them. There we go. So yeah, that side was much, much easier. So I think now that that bottom washi is down and we have our double box, we, we can now move into the rest of the full boxes. All right, so for my quote box, I'm going to use this one here because it's a little bit of a plainer box. I guess I could use this one. No, I like this one the best. And I'm going to use this overlay from Letters to Apollo, Apollo, which says, have an attitude of gratitude. And I think that's really pretty. So I'm just gonna put that over top of this full box and we'll be good to go. I just think that's a really nice message. And Letters to Apollo has such beautiful foil so I think it's gonna look great I think this was just a freebie in one of my orders I'm not sure if it's one of her PR girls freebies or um, if it was just like kind of a general freebie that comes in every order uh, but I really like it. I think it's super pretty there we go so we'll just put this right over top of there yeah I think that looks pretty the foil looks beautiful all right so that is perfect now I do have these are my full boxes and then plus I'm going to use one of these tall girls but I think I'm going to use her down in the corner or the sorry the bottom of the sidebar so maybe I'll just put her in right now try to get it somewhat straight there we go oh my gosh she's stunning she's so beautiful wait till I put some foil on her and then for the rest of the full boxes 
I am going to obviously use these. But then I have these Simply Gilded 5mm uh, headers that I'm going to pull in. So I have this like gray color, the white with gold, and this tan color which matches the bottom washi and then the dark brown. So I'm going to pull all of these in and I have done this before and it is a bit of a long and like tedious process. So I'm going to speed through it so that I didn't, you guys don't die of boredom. So I'm going to put these down as well as the full boxes and then I will be right back. All right, so here is how we are looking at so far. All of the full boxes are down. We've got all of the bow headers as well, which, man, that is a tedious process to go through and add all of those bow headers. But I do love the effect of it, and I think it turned out really, really pretty. Uh, up at the top here, I did put in date covers from Simply Watercolor Co. And the date dots, which are gold foiled, are from Scribble Prints Co. I also just quickly added in the flag up here in the corner and put a Scribble Prints Co. gold foiled uh, flag overlay on top of that as well. So I think we can move into the sidebar now. I know I don't have a ton of room in the sidebar just given that I used um, the tall box already down there, but that's okay. I haven't really been using my sidebar anyway, so it is what it is. So I think I'm gonna add in another one of these bow headers before I put my habit tracker in. So I have been super spendy these past couple days. Um, if you guys are watching this, the day this video goes live, so Sunday the 15th, there's currently a sale going on called the Planner Friends Sale. And man, that there's so many good shops like participating in the sale that like I've just gone crazy. So not only did I mention I purchased from Simply Gilded, who is not in the sale, but she just had new releases, so I purchased from her. Then um, I purchased a massive order from Paper Shire. So it used to be Toffee Bananas, now is Paper Shire. So place a huge order with her. And then um, Regina Laughs. So Regina Laughs came out with a bunch of different date covers. Um, and I just purchased a PP Weeks. So I thought that the date covers would be perfect for when I do my PP Weeks spreads because I'm not planning on pulling in a ton of stickers um, in that planner, but I still want date covers because for me to just like write them in won't be very pretty, but I thought having um, Regina's date covers would be a really good um, option to have like minimal stickers, but still have it look pretty. So she came out with all different colorways and there was like ones that were just brush strokes some that had hearts and some that had stars and oh her like fall ones also had like leaf patterns on them so I literally bought them all they're so so beautiful so what am I gonna put here in it's too small to put like a weekly box or a heart checklist yeah it's too small for that I can put one of these boxes which I think will look good and then <clears throat> I don't know what else I'm gonna use but yeah so and then there's a couple other shops that I have my eye on that I want to purchase from um, planning like a pro I think I have some of her uh, new releases in my cart right now so it's just a matter of like how much do I actually want to spend I think that's the struggle 
that I think every planner girl goes through this. There's so much beautiful stuff and there's so many amazing shops that you just like want to buy it all, but you got to be realistic sometimes. Maybe I'll use the larger washi here. Is that weird? Yeah, I feel like that's like weird. Um, maybe... The kit doesn't really come with any washi, um, and except like the bottom washi. So maybe just this strip here. Or what if I did this a little bit different? So I'm just gonna pull this up, please don't rip. So I'm gonna put this here and move this down and I'll use this as kind of like my highlight for the week and I have a script that says this week that I'll put in here I just need to get out my foil binder to find that <clears throat> Oof. this foil binder is getting real chunky I think you guys have seen this before and my like foil organization um, essentially I just have these pockets that I put all of my scripts and foil stuff in I kind of have it like organized by category but oh yeah here's from letters to Apollo um, I haven't done a dedicated video on this just because it is the way um, Andrea from Scribble Prince Co. This like I got this organization uh, system from her, and she can explain it so much better than I ever could. Um, so if you want to know how I store my stickers, I would just honestly recommend watching Andrea's video because I follow the exact same method, and hers is a million times better because she actually has like. Um, labels and stuff like printed out labels for all of her categories I just have to like remember where I put everything so that is that I think the sidebar looks pretty good it's a little bit different but all good so now I think we can get into the day day by day planning all right so I don't know how this happened but I completely forgot to put any of my full box overlays down so I have a couple corners here from Scribble Prince Co I also have these solid line um, full box overlays as well as these and I think these are more like a brush stroke type um, full box overlay so I'm gonna put all of these down and then we can get into the day by day now that all of my foil overlays are down we can get into the day by day so you can see here i just put the solid line one this is that like brush stroke one i added a little corner overlay here and then one up here so i think it's looking pretty good now i like don't know how i missed that like foil overlays and stuff is like some of my favorite part of like decorating my spread so I'm surprised that I missed that first things first so we'll start off with Monday and I do have an injection that I need to do Monday night I'm like switching things around again to try and find a better day that works so hopefully Monday it is. And I just have this little stethoscope from a Scribble Prince Co. freebie that I got in one of my orders. Yeah, it was a $75 freebie. Um, so when you order $75 worth of stuff, you get it. That's, that's what I mean by that. So I'll put the little gold stethoscope there for my injection that day. And then I do weigh in this day. So I think I'll put that up at the top and I'm going to use a half box. And I was going to talk about this, but I think I'll save it for a different video because I just don't even know if it's something that you guys care about. But I talk about every week about how I'm trying to, you know, create a healthier lifestyle and just make better choices for myself. And... 
there's been some ups and downs kind of along the way. So I was going to chat with you guys about it, but I think I need more time and I'd rather just kind of chat about what's going on with the spread this week. But upcoming, I do want to kind of do a little bit of a check-in on what I've been doing and how it's going. So I will give you an update in the future on that. On Tuesday, it is such a busy day. There is a million and one things going on. So the first thing that I wanted to mark... And I'm going to pull these in from Planning Like a Pro. They're just these little half boxes with a bow on them. The gold is a little bit more of like a, a hot gold versus some of the like champagne gold that I've been using in the spread so far. But I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to put this one in here up at the top because I have a really big meeting this day. <clears throat> so I pulled out these alarm clocks from Sadie Stickers. And I wonder if I can wipe that bow out or if it would look weird. I just feel like it's weird to have a bow icon in a bow box, like right next to this bow header. Um, do you know what? Maybe I won't use this. Is there something in the kit that I could use to mark my meeting? There's just a little time dot. I could use that. Um like a little clock here yeah okay I am gonna cover up the bow but I'm just gonna use the little circle icon there to mark that so that is for my meeting in the morning and I actually have like several meetings that day so that's gonna be a super busy day and then also this is the first um, what do you call it, preseason game for the Leafs this day, which I am so excited about. If you guys didn't know, I am a really big Toronto Maple Leafs fan. They are um, a hockey team, if you know, some people don't know that. So um, this is their first preseason game, which I definitely will be watching. So I'm just gonna use this little hockey guy from uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. I think these are so cute and those will all be gone by the rest or by the end of the season for sure. And then I'm also on Tuesday. It is $2 Tuesday. So I'm going to mark that with some washi. I'll just put it up here. And this is my script from Letters to Apollo that says $2 make me holla. Should I do a small one or one of the larger ones? Yeah, I think I'll do a bigger one this week. I love these so much. There's always such good deals on $2 Tuesday. And it's just too, it's too hard to resist. So there's that. I think that looks so pretty. I apologize for the glare, guys. I know it's really bright. Um, oh, the other thing that is happening this day, which I won't be watching it this day, but it is the finale of Bachelor in Paradise. So I'm going to use my final one of these, and I think I'll just pull in another strip of washi to put this down. Um, maybe I'll just cut a piece off of this, or actually, I think this is like a better, thickness so I'll use this strip at the side just to mark the finale of Bachelor in Paradise but to me the leaf game is more important I think my boyfriend would probably agree even though it's preseason like We've been hockey deprived for months now because the Leafs didn't go very far in the playoffs. So it's important for us to watch this game. But I'm still going to mark in Bachelor in Paradise. And this is the final time I'll be using this this year. So these can finally go back in my binder. I don't need to keep them out anymore, which is nice. I, I like to put things back where they go, but because I use these every week, I just keep them on my desk. And I think that's everything that I have going on on Tuesday. 
On Wednesday, all I have is that it's Big Brother. And I know I say this every single week that I use these flags regardless because I like to use these flags to mark Big Brother. But I just really like the vibe of this spread. And I don't know if I, I'm, I'm struggling to use these this week. Um, I think Wednesday is a veto, so maybe I could just use... Oh, I don't know. This is something I'm contemplating. I don't know if I want to use my Big Brother flags this week. We'll see how it all comes together, and then I'll make a final decision at the end. But that is everything that I had to mark on Wednesday. On Thursday, I need to call my pharmacy because I need to refill a prescription. So I think, again, I'm just going to use a washi strip to mark filling a prescription. And I had pulled out these from Sabai & Co. I think they're really cute and they actually have some colors that match really well with this spread. So I'm gonna pull one of those in. I just wanna make sure this is straight. Okay. So I think I like this color the best. I think it goes really well. And I feel like this is a color I wouldn't pull into a lot of spreads. So I think it's perfect. And then I'm just gonna use this little refill prescription from Letters to Apollo. And I actually have like two or three prescriptions that I have to refill, so that's perfect. They finally, it used to be like, Every week I'd be refilling like a different one, but they're now all on the same schedule to be refilled, which is perfect. And then also on Thursday, it is the September meetup for the planner girls that I hang out with in Toronto. So I'm going to mark that. And I think that is definitely half box worthy. So I'm going to put this down here and I have just a little planner from the Coffee Monsters Co. I like this black and white polka dot one. So we'll put that there for the planner meetup. And that's everything that I had for Thursday. I have nothing at all going on on Friday, which is awesome. I love those days. And then on Saturday, I plan on doing some filming. So not only will I be filming kind of my regular plan with me, but I also have um, a haul to film as well. So I'm pretty much out of washi strips at this point. So maybe I'll use another one of these. Yeah. I'll use another one of these half boxes just up here at the top. And like I said, those are from Planning Like a Pro. And I have these YouTube girls from Toffee Bananas who is now Paper Shire. So I'll put her in. I really wish that it didn't have the bow. I want to see what it looks like. Could I white it out? I just feel like that's weird to white out the bow. Mm, whatever I'm just gonna leave it like that it's fine and we'll put in the film plan with me script from letters to Apollo okay that bow doesn't bother me that much now I think it looks okay all right so that's that and then it's, I'm also going to be filming my haul that day, but I think film plan with me is, is fine. Then in the afternoon, we have to do some groceries. So maybe I'll take another one of these washi strips and just place that. Actually, I'm gonna put it a little bit lower because I have an idea of what I'll put in between these to keep some white space. So, sorry, bless you, Daisy. Um, I have these scribblers. These are the pearl scribblers, and she's just doing her groceries. 
So I'm gonna mark her right here. And it doesn't bother me that she's blonde and I am a brunette. I know some people care about the characters like matching their hair color, but to me, it doesn't matter. I don't care what hair color, what skin color, anything, I'll use it. I just, as long as it marks the activity that I'm doing, then I don't really care. Um, and then the only other thing, so I was thinking about using these. These are from Scribble Prints Co. And I thought these like designs went really well with this kit. So I'm gonna pull in these triangles. I think this will look really cute in this white space here. Yeah, that's cute. It was just a freebie that I got in one of my orders, but I really like the way that that looks. All right, so also on Saturday, we'll do some laundry. So I have another script here from Scribble Prints Co. and a girl from Glam Planner. I think I'll just do a half box. I don't know. I guess laundry deserves a half box this week. It's fine. I'm definitely going to have to dig through my stash a little bit to see if I have any um, quarter boxes that will um, match this kit. I'm sure I do because I tend to keep a lot of my neutral colored half boxes and quarter boxes, so I think it'll be fine. So that laundry time script is from Scribble Prints Co. And then the little girl holding up her pants is from Glam Planner. On Sunday, I have a manicure first thing in the morning. <clears throat> And I think I'm gonna use a half box to mark that too. Oh, I'm using tons of half boxes here. But I mean, that's kind of all I have right now. So that's just what's gonna have to do. So this will be for my nail appointment. And I have these from Paisley Prints Co. I've actually never even used these before. So I'm gonna pull in this black polish because it matches the kit the best. Definitely not going to be getting black nails, but I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. And I'm gonna use this larger script just because I am using a half box and I rarely use a half box for a nail appointment. So while I have the space, I might as well use it. So a nail appointment, and then I have to pick up my prescriptions from Costco this day. So I'm just gonna use a little thing to mark picking up my prescriptions. And I didn't pull out anything to mark picking them up. Let me see if I have something, if there's like an icon or something that I could use. Um, I mean, there's like a car. No, cause I'll probably walk there. <laughs> um, all right, I'm not gonna put anything for now. I'll have to like dig through my collection to find something to put um, for picking up my prescriptions at Costco. Ugh. That one just is not going straight for some reason. I don't know. So that is that, and then my plan with me will go live this day. So I'll use another half box from Planning Like a Pro to mark my plan with me going live. So I'll use another of these YouTube girls here and another script from Letters to Apollo that says plan with me live. Perfect. And other than Big Brother being on, I I don't even know actually if Big Brother is going to be on this day since they're down to so few of them left. I just don't know like what how many episodes are actually going to be on. So that is everything that I have for this week so far. I think 
Uh, I'm not going to do the weekend banner. So I'm just going to leave it as this. So I'm going to zoom out so that you guys can see the full spread and we will wrap up this video. All right, you guys, so this is the full spread. Now that we've zoomed out, you can kind of see some of that foil action. I know there's a lot of glare on it, so I apologize for that, you guys, but this is how it turned out, and I think it looks so good. I love this girl down in the corner. I think she is so cute, and I just love all the like neutral colors, especially after last week being such like a bright in your face kind of spread. I think it's nice to have a little bit of a palette cleanser and do something much more neutral. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys all have an amazing week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.